Hey everybody, it's me Bryson Booker, and it's time for Friday's video! Oh, to mention, today's Friday. Anyway, it's another Tips from BBTV. This seems to be like one of my popular, most popular watched videos, actually. <laughs> More popular than my reviews or silly videos. And I'm glad you guys at least like something that I do. And so, here we go. Today's tip from BBTV is going to be on public speaking. By public speaking, we mean speaking in front of the public. Yeah, that's, that's, that's breaking it down so a monkey could get it. Speaking in front of the public, so a small group of people, a large group of people, a quadruple festival-sized group of people, if you're one of those bands that go on tour, that is. And just speaking in general in front of a group. And here are five tips that you need to remember before you go on stage. And before you make you look like you make yourself look like a maroon. But that's not gonna happen. Because these tips are gonna help you. And so here they are. The tips from BBTV. They're not that great, but they're still tips from me. I did I added that snap there. I like that. Anyway, here are five tips on public speaking. Okay, so you were asked by some random person, or well, not random person, maybe a church member, maybe somebody from your school to give a speech. And this speech can be on, well, whatever that person tells you the topic of, the topic of your speech has to be about. Or you can be making a speech just for your own sake to say it in front of people. And, uh, well, this can be a Christmas speech, an, East, an Easter speech, a sermon, a, uh, a play, a poem. I have to do a poem. Uh, I have to recite a poem, actually, next week in my drama class. And it can be any one of those things. And you need to know the big basics before you get up there and say the speech so you won't do these things and you'll, your speech will be absolutely amazing. So tip number five is be prepared. And we're going to add something to tip number five, and that's be on time. Okay, being prepared. We all know what being prepared is. Either whether it be at school, having your school supplies, um, at a sound gig, having all of your sound equipment ready, all of your speakers, cable subs, audio guys, you guys know about that. Of course, I am an audio guy, so I know I have to be prepared with all that stuff are just being prepared, having what you need to say your speech or give your oratorical, as they call it, a very fancy word. You're a sophomore. You're supposed to be talking like this. <laughs> anyway, um, it, you have to be prepared. Have your material ready. If you have to memorize it, please take two weeks and memorize the thing. I mean, there's nothing else. There's no other way for me to put it. You gotta remember, memorize it. And if the guys are nice and are nice and nice enough for you to uh well uh, read your speech, that's awesome. Bring the speech with you. Please don't forget it at home. And being on time, this is an obvious one, but it's a very, very true one. Because some of us, some of us, when we're asked to do something. We say, okay, we'll be there, and we're not there, or we come very, 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 very late. And that's a problem, because if you come in late, then you don't really know if you were asked to come up and say something or not, or you might have missed your turn on the program. And it's really hard, yes, it's really hard to go to that coordinator and say, I made it. Did I go on? Can I go last? And, you know, your answer may be a yes or a no. Generally, it's a no. Because you should have been there on time like it was stated. So, be prepared. Be on time. Number four. Uh, when you go up there to speak, try to speak as clearly as possible. Try not to stutter. Uh, try not to, uh, you know, uh, let's see, try not to stutter, you know, read your words carefully, make sure, that, another thing, make sure if you can actually see with your eyes, 
what you wrote down. Please. Make sure that whatever you're speaking about, if you wrote it down on a piece of paper and you don't have to memorize it, make sure you can see what you wrote. Because that is a guarantee moment that you might stutter. If you cannot see what you wrote on your paper, like the little engine, it, it, it'll just go downhill from there. So please go slow. Make sure your print is big enough so you can read. If somebody else wrote your speech, make sure they wrote it in print because I don't know about you all, but it's kind of hard for me to read cursive. And that can be a big error if you don't know how to read cursive and you're up there saying a speech and you're like, God, I need your help right now. So just make sure you can read and uh, read your speech so you can say it well without any stuttering or any big. I mean, we all make mistakes. I mean, it's 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 life. We make mistakes, but there are some thing, there are some mistakes that you can simply avoid just by doing something simple. Okay, next tip. Now listen, I know you have to, I know you get butterflies in your stomach. I know everybody in the school is looking at you. I know your girlfriend is looking at you. But listen, try not to focus on the people that will get your attention off of your speech. So if your girlfriend is sitting in the audience and she's doing something funny, like, it's a really good example because there's idiots that actually do that at my school in the audience. They go nuts while somebody's trying to give a speech. Anyway, try to keep your focus on your speech. But remember, don't forget to give eye contact. Eye contact. That means, if you don't know, to look up at your audience once in a while. Smile. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. And don't, if you just look down, say a couple sentences, and just look up. Another helpful tip that you can do is what I like to do is when I'm saying a speech is I read a couple of lines, and then I put like a big line down uh, where I stop, and that's my cue to look up. Look up and look up at my audience. Uh, see if uh, everything is okay. And then, when it's time to read the speech again, go back down and leave. start where I ended, pretty much, where the line is, and just keep on going. And the next line, look up again, look up at your audience, see if everything's okay. Don't get your mind off of something that, don't get, don't, uh, how can I put this? Keep your mind on what you're doing. Don't try to look, focus your mind on a person that's doing this in the audience. Because obviously, that will make you laugh. And, okay, now if it's a funny speech, or if you're some sort of comedian, of course you're going to laugh, because it's funny. But if you're doing something serious, and you see somebody in the audience doing something stupid, it's more than likely going to make you chuckle or smile, and when you're supposed to be giving a serious speech, chuckling and smiling should not really be included. So... Keep your mind, your eyes, your focus on your speech, not on those outside doing stupid things. And number two kind of connects with number with uh, tip number three because this is about with people and people that don't like you. Okay, so you're speaking, right? And this girl in the back gives you a very mean look. And that worries you because it's like, oh, what if I mess up? Maybe she's coming for me, yada, 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 something, 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 God kill me. Blah, blah, blah. And it makes you all scared and stuff. And don't do not do that. I mean, more than likely, wherever you're speaking at, there can't be a serial killer waiting for you when you get outside of the door. Or if there is, run for your life. Matter of fact... I could have swore I saw somebody, but I guess that was just my imagination. Anyway, tip number one. The most important tip. 
I know you get nervous, but don't let nervousness take a hold of you where you get all jitterish and scared and pee your pants. Come on, man. I mean, I can understand if you're a five-year-old doing that, but if you're a grown man, I mean, please, dude, come on. Don't let nervousness drive you to the point of you're not going to complete this, you're not going to make it, you're going to do just fine. I mean, that just think for a second. That person wouldn't have asked you to do something if they didn't know, if they didn't know you could do it. I mean, they did know that you could do it. So take that, take that as a good thing. You're doing something that you know you can do. And you know you're going to get through it. And once it's over, <sighs> give a big sigh of relief and ask your parents to get you some ice cream because that was freaking frustrating. But on a serious note, don't let nervousness take control of you or your body because that will make you stutter. That will make you mess up. And nervousness, people can tell it. And if you, we all get nervous. And here's what I do. Don't show it. Don't show that you're nervous. Show that you're confident. Show that you know what you're talking about. And it's gonna just realize it's gonna be all over after a while. And uh just don't act don't act like you're nervous. Just keep your head up, keep your chest out, look at your mom. Your mom always gives you an embrace, I hope. And just smile. And those were my tips for public speaking. And these were tips from BBTV. They're not that great, but they're still tips. Cha-cha. <laughs> Charmin. Anyway, hope these guys, hope these tips help you guys. And thanks for watching.